Hey, bud. Dave, dude, I gotta tell you, man, you're a magical guy. Hey, Dave. Just sending a message from the West Coast here. Hey, Dave. Hey, Dave. Hey, Dave. We miss you. It's been so long since we've seen you, but we're all here sending lots of love. Hi, Dave. Really thinking of you. I'm rooting for you. I've never prayed before, but I am praying for you. I just wanted to tell you, dude, how much I love you. Tell you how much you mean to me. Take six. <laughs> hey, Dave, it's Jeremy. And Janice. We miss you a lot. Love you a lot, too. I'm making this video from my balcony in case you miss Boston. Dave, my friend, I wanted to send my love from here in Asheville. I think about you a ton, and I can't wait to finally catch up and jam together. Hang in there. I I'm always here for you, and it's clear there's an army of people that really care and love you a whole lot. Uh, you're a legend. Much love. Hang in there, brother. Hi, David. I just wanted to remind you what an inspiration you are, and I hope you don't lose sight of that. To see you take this challenge on head on with such a positive attitude has had such an impact on me, but also on the countless others that are reading your posts. Hey, Dave, this is my son, Marco. I just want to introduce him to you. And I wanted to let you know that we're here for you. We're praying for you. Um, we love you. God loves you. And uh, I'm just so, I'm so thankful for your friendship and your impact on my life. Marco's fighting for you too. And we, lo we love you very much. I remember the day that you just sort of casually called me Mama Spoon. That was a really special day because I have ever since then felt like you are a second son. And I want you to know that there is nobody who I will ever give the privilege of calling me Mama Spoons except you. And you are the only one that I will ever probably call David. It's just kind of a special thing for me between the two of us. And just in case you don't know it, I wanna tell you that I love you intensely and I respect you immensely. And I am really grateful for your being such a vitally important friend and brother to Mark. As a mom, that has meant an incredible amount to me, and you have done an incredibly amazing job over the years for being that. Maybe it doesn't feel like you're being courageous or brave. You are amazing, and we just know that you will continue forward in that way because that is who you are. You're brave, you're courageous, and God is with you. I've known you, or perhaps <laughs> I've observed you from afar, um for years now and i know deep in my bones that you're a miracle person you're magic um and it's just the way you move in the world and it's just who you are and anybody who meets you can see it the moment they meet you when you were here visiting me you told me that you think this thing's going to take you to the edge like the absolute edge and then you're gonna you're gonna come through the other side, and it's gonna be this insane thing that you beat, and you're gonna be able to look back at like the mountain you came over. And dude, I think you're at the peak that you told me about. Like, don't don't doubt that intuition that you told me about, man. I think you're there, and I think you're gonna pull through. And you're already getting your community get together. You're already translating this stuff to other people. You're already encouraging other people. And I think once you get through the other side, like the amount of power that you're gonna have knowing that you beat this thing, like nothing will stop you after that. Like you got it, dude. Just want to let you know that you inspire me, the way that you love others, connect with others, the way you spread joy, your love for learning, uh, how you fight for truth and justice. I want to be more like you. And um, I'm just, I'm praying for you, man. Keep fighting and all my love. Dave, I think you're so awesome. I hope that you know that there are not a shortage of people who think that about you. Hey Dave, we're sending you lots of love and sunshine from New York City. Much love. Let us say bye. Hi Dave. Hi Dave. <laughs> so I love that you got my dog high on weed chocolate. I love that you gave us the most epic jams to dance to with Disney and techno music. And I love that you make people challenge their preconceived notions and push people to think think more and, and do better. And I also really like that you have better hair after 19 rounds of chemo uh, than all of us ever will. <laughs> <laughs> and I love 
love how we can talk about the health benefits of carrots and then in the same conversation talk about the all myriads of factors of Chinese communism. It's real fun. I love it. <laughs> I don't know what you're complaining about. You still have both nuts. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we love you, Dave. Today we learned something very special. D stands for daring, A for adventurous, V for visionary, E for effervescent, and O for outstanding. And what does that spell? Davio! You are one of my absolute heroes, and I've thought of you often and will continue to do so. Love you, man. Talk to you soon. And I just want you all to know that um, we are praying mightily for you. I um, want to let you know that I'm thinking of you often, um, especially about our day, that we, the day that we had together in, in Baltimore, where we ended up in that hole in the wall having breakfast together. So lucky to have um, this memory in you as a friend. Um, feel hugged from Berlin. Guess where I'm at? Look familiar? I'm going around retracing some of our memory lane of places that we used to have conversations and hang out. Um, not yet the walk to Chinese class though. I wanted to say hang in there. Um, miss you, my dear friend. Hey Dave, it's been really hard to hear all the news coming out, um, but sending you lots of positive thoughts and we know you'll pull through, um, thinking about you. I keep thinking about the first day that we met on the boat trip and just how much of an amazing time I had with you, um, talking with you throughout that night and hearing about all your stories from around the world. I'm so inspired and in awe by your strength and just how much good there is in you and can't imagine any other world other than the one where you make it and this is behind you. I'm sending you so much love and light. The words that you've written to share your journey have been really a gift to many people. Thank you for sharing with openness and vulnerability. You're making an impact just by being who you've always been. You have so many talents, really natural abilities, um, and you actually use all of them. You are uniquely able to do so many things and you share all of those things with us. Um, we all benefit from even tangentially being in your life. So thank you for sharing your writing, your communication style, your humor. <laughs> thank you for doing everything so openly and intelligently. Uh, thank you for sharing you. A verse that comes to mind is Psalm 56 when it says, when I am afraid, I will trust in you. And just remember to keep trusting the one that keeps you trusting. We just wanted to say that we're thinking of you and we're praying for you. And we wanted to invite you to a 30 second virtual dance party. Hi Dave, we love you, we're in your corner and we're praying for you. Hey Dave, I just wanna take this time to say thank you. Thank you for inspiring me, motivating me, challenging me, and I know you've challenged so many other people as well. I appreciate all of our conversations and just how open and honest you've been about your journey so far. I just wanna remind you of all the people who care about you, who support you, and who are so appreciative of everything you've done for them. So please remember in your darkest moments that you have made a difference and that there's so many people who care and who are rooting for you. Annie here in the San Diego chapter of the We Love Dave team. Just wanted to let you know that I am rooting for you and praying that God's presence would be really near to you in these days. Um, I feel super thankful to keep up with what's going on with you through Mark and Molly and also just through all the updates you share and I'm in awe of your ability to keep people connected through this time. So just wanted you to know that um, I am rooting for you and praying for you and sending you a lot of love. Hey homie, um, just want to leave you a quick video, letting you know I'm thinking of you, praying for you, uh, and I miss you and love you, man. Um, can't really imagine exactly what you're feeling right now, 
but I hope that um, all these videos and hearing from your friends is a little bit encouraging just to let you know how many people are behind you and supporting you and the big spot you take up in all of our hearts. Love you, buddy. So I guess all I'm trying to say is uh, there are days after these dark days. Um, and there's so much more joy to come. My friend, I know things suck at the moment. I cannot imagine how difficult things are for you. Um, but just know that all of us are incredibly excited to see you again and, um, and to laugh with you again. You're an inspiration to me. You're the strongest, most resilient person I've ever met. I hope to one day grow up to be like you. Until then, I'm here for you. And if there's anything at all that you need, please let me know. Your strength and grace through all of these difficult times is very inspiring to see and I will continue to be thinking of you and hoping for better news soon. I just wanted to let you know that we are completely in awe of the strength that you show every day. Hey Dave, I'm praying for you and so is my entire family. Your strength and your faith through all this has been incredible. We are here for you and we believe in your recovery. Hi, Hi Dave. Dave. Dave, we miss you. Uh, we love you. We're so grateful for the time we got to spend with you last fall as part of House Church for the time you shared with us and, and the joy you brought us. Um, hope and encouragement, brother, is that we love just thinking about your day by day, your step by step, and we're encouraged by every step you take. So we can't wait to just see what comes next, and we love you. Uh, God be with you. We love you, Dave. Uh, love, love you, Dave. Dave. Hi, Dave. I'm sending you so much love and light during this time. I know it's incredibly difficult and few words can make the situation better, but I want you to know that I deeply admire your resilience and how honest you're being with yourself about how you're feeling and hope you continue to be honest with yourself and do what you need to do to, to process things the best that you can and know that you have so many people who love you and admire you and are cheering you on. Here's a little heart for you and wishing you all the best. Take care. Dave, we love you. You're the best. You got this. Hang in there. We're praying for you. We're thinking about you all the time. Love you, man. You got this. Hey, Dave. This is Holland. Um, just want to say I love you, man. It's been really powerful to watch you go through this with the strength and um, the perseverance that you've showed. Hey, Dave. Just want to tell you I love you. And you're strong and beautiful and intelligent and getting pretty good at Fortnite, and in all seriousness I, I love you so much and you're the strongest person i know and keep it up man love you i love you i'm thinking about you i'm praying for you and your family and everyone who loves you every day i hope that you're feeling overwhelming peace and the warmth of the many people who love you i'm thinking of you and sending love here on this first day of spring in Texas and wish that I could just be in your presence right now. Your presence is just reviving and inspiring and you are just joy. You epitomize that in so many ways and your presence has always been the biggest joy to be around and I love you and I'm thinking of you always. Um, Hey Dave, Annie Mazarski here. I know we've only met a couple times. Just wanted to say what an impression you've left on me. You're just one of those people that stands out. Um, you're just such a sparking, curious, funny, witty person in this world. And I can tell you've always been that way and that you've just left quite a mark everywhere you've gone. It's hard to summarize my feelings right now. Feeling for you. I do know that every semester I begin the class talking about Dave Hicks, my stellar student who essentially finished their entire work halfway through the semester. You're a legend, Dave. Hey Dave, I know we haven't seen each other in a while, um, but I just want you to know that I really care about you and I'm thinking about you and sending you so much love from New York. David, Bethany and I want you to know that we love you and we are so proud of you. We've been thinking about you a lot over the last couple months and when we think about you, can't help but think about free shrugs or the amount of times Dave Walker slapped you in the face while we were making that, that video. 
But more than that, Dave, you engender a rare loyalty in people because you love deeply. And I hope that you experience some of that love right now. That so many people care about you because of the way that you intentionally care about others. We are committing to praying for you. We love you, man. But know that uh, you, are, you have people all over the world that, that love you and are praying for God to continue to give you and your family strength um, in light of everything that's happening. So um, we're always supporting you from afar, and I'm always here if you want to chat, but continually praying for you and your family right now. Hey, Dave. I was thinking the other day about um, that time first year we had a problem set due the next day, and we were both in the library on a Sunday, and you came and tapped me on the shoulder to say hi, and I turned around and I had tears in my eyes. I was really upset about something, and you put aside your problem set, and we packed up our bags, and you took me to Flower and bought me something chocolatey and just let me blubber for an hour or so um, and made me feel important and better and stable, and you've done that for so many of us. Um, and now we're here to do that for you. Um, you have a whole army of people who are showing you their love on this video, and we're ready in here to give you the support you need whenever you need it. And we love you so, so much. Um, and we're ready for whatever you need us to do. I know that in the, the recent moments, sometimes these things that we're going through can feel bigger than who we are, but in your case, you have so much else going for you and you have so many people who love you and just want the best for you. I, I feel like words are failing me, but just sending love truly from the bottom of my heart. I think for all of us, we just know who you are because you've always been so true to who you are every day. Um, so no matter what you might be feeling temporarily or doing in reaction to a terrible, shitty thing happening. We know who you are because you live every day with intent and compassion and, um, you know, like your honesty, your, your genuine heart, it, it can't be faked and you really truly have a gift of bringing the best out of people and the best for people and it's really special and I hope you're feeling that today as you watch these videos that we're not making these because something bad is happening. We're doing it because we love you because you're really truly a special person. Hey Dave! One of uh, my favorite things to do uh, when I travel is just to go wake up and watch the sunrise. So I thought today I could bring the Cambridge sunrise to you. I think for me, getting to know you is one of the things I'm most grateful for about my time at HLS. And you really inspire me to be a better person every day. So just know that I'm sending a lot of positive energy toward you and your whole family. Hey Dave, uh, we're just sending you all our love, letting you know that we're thinking of you and we're hoping that you're feeling better. We love you, Dave. Hey Dave, me and Debs are thinking about you. Miss you and love you so much, man. Dave, we love you. You're incredible. I miss you so much. And you're gonna get through this just as you have done so gracefully and with so much compassion and empathy and love through every other aspect of your life. Um, and we are all with you and crying with you and are here with you in any capacity that we can be. Um, I'm sending so, 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 so much love and I hope I get to see you soon, wherever that is. Mwah. Hi Dave, it's Chrissy. Like lots of humans, I've been thinking a lot in the past few months about things I'm grateful for and people I'm grateful for. And um, you, you come up in my mind and my heart more than you probably expect. Um, and this is one of the places I like to go to reflect. So I wanted to share where I go when I'm thinking about you. Hey, Dave. Hey, Dave. We're sending you love from Boston. Tucker's been filling in as your DJ on the side. He can't wait for you to join him. We love you. We're sending love to you and your family. And we'll talk to you soon. Love you, Dave. Bye. Dave, hi from China. I have three really quick, happy stories, which it was actually hard to narrow down because we've done so many like ridiculously stupid things together. First one, do you remember in 
Yunnan, you were looking up the hostel and you found the wrong address. And then uh, I was, I don't speak any Chinese at the time. So I just followed you and we walked up these like, like oncoming traffic inner highways for like an hour. <laughs> um, another one, do you remember that you dressed like a Saudi prince in Russia? And my favorite one is, do you remember uh, in Oxford, you won an international baking contest? Anyway, love you lots, miss you. We just want you to know that we love you, we're thinking of you, we're praying for you. A big kiss from the three of us. We know this is a really tough time, but we're here for you for whatever you need. Yeah. We love you, Dave. I just want to say I'm praying for you. I love you, brother. You have a fantastic community behind you. Uh, we support you and we are here for you. Hi, Dave. My name's Helen. I listened to your podcast episodes after I read the rave reviews on Mazelle's story. And I'm so happy that I did because you gave me a newfound confidence and new power in my relationship with faith, in my relationship with God. And that's something that I never thought I would get back. And so I am so thankful and grateful to you. I know that you're going through some tough times right now. I just wanted to let you know how impactful and how inspiring you've been and how grateful I am to have gotten to listen to that episode and know you virtually. Um, sending all the love and prayers in the world to you. Hang in there, always rooting for you, always on your team. Hey Dave, we love you. We're praying for you. You're the strongest person I know. As somebody who spent an ungodly amount of time with Aaron growing up, I got to witness firsthand how much that kid looks up to you. Um, I know he's probably told you that a bunch of times now, but I just, I wanted you to hear it from somebody else who just got to witness that firsthand. And I just wanted you to know that in a lot of ways, you were like a brother to me too. So I love you, man. Hey Dave, this is Nate Masterson. I'm reaching out on behalf of myself and all the Mastersons. Uh, just letting you know, we are praying for you. We're praying for healing in Jesus name. Uh, we're praying for peace over you over your family and close friends. Uh, and just want you to know that we are behind you. We are supporting you. Uh, you've been an incredible inspiration, encouragement in my own life uh, and anyone you've interacted with and anyone who's distantly heard your story. Uh, and you are bringing glory to God and his kingdom uh, through this whole situation, how you've responded uh, to the sickness. And again, you are, um, bringing glory to Jesus through this. So just want you to know we got your back and I am dreaming that we are going to be kicking it on Spooner's dock at Whitaker Lake drinking a beer in the future. Hang in there, buddy. Hey, hey Dave. Dave. We're, We're thinking, thinking of, of you. you. We're so proud of you. Love Hello. from the Lemires. Bye, Dave. I'll say bye, Dave. You say bye. Sweet Dave, you are brave and strong and you bring and have always brought such light into the places that you go. I love you so dearly. I love you so dearly. We love you so much, Dave. We're praying for you every day. You totally got this. You're one of the most amazing, strong people I know. Just wanna let you know, man, you've always been such an inspiration. Um, just thinking back to our time at Gordon, uh, especially, but in the years since, uh, just your compassion and your thoughtfulness for everyone around you, um, it's really rare. Um, and it's, it's such an inspiration to me even um, today to aspire to that. And um, man, I'm, I'm praying for you, praying for answers, um, praying for God's comfort in all this. Hey Dave, I just wanna read something for you. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze, Isaiah 43. Hey Dave, believing in that with you and um, just wanted to say it's a privilege um, to be able to pray with you in this season. I know it's been a few years since we chatted, um, but I hope that you know that you are not alone and that you're super loved. Dave, you are amazing. Uh, words really can't even capture how incredible and inspiring you are. We are here for you, we're standing with you, and we're praying for you, my friend. We love you. I just wanted to say how much of an impact you've made on me. You are such an amazing person and I just feel like we've hung out like three times and every time it just feels like we can be instant friends. And I think that is such a remarkable trait. Um, you're such a light in this world. 
and I uh, just want to let you know I'm sending you so much love and peace and um, light right now. Thank you so much for being an incredible friend and mentor to me during a difficult point in college. Like everyone who knows you, I'm incredibly lucky to have you as a friend. Sending lots of love. Hey Dave, uh, we just want you to know we're thinking of you. Hey Dave, wishing you all the strength in the world, man. The people before us, the people after <laughs> us, are all here because we love you, man. Sending you a lot of love. Absolutely. Dave, I want you to know that you continue to be in my prayers. I'm thankful that we were able to work together when you served in the president's office as Michael's fellow. I've always been impressed with your, your strength, your convictions, and your desire to make a real difference in the world. I remember when you went to China, I thought what a unique and powerful statement that was of who you are and how you care. I'm also so thankful that I got to know Aaron in his role as my fellow and also when he served in the career services office. I just pray my blessings upon your whole family and know that uh, we love you. Do you remember when we were on GCSA and Ken like booked us a boat in the Gloucester Harbor and it was just <laughs> GCSA members and uh, we were all out there, you know, dressed up and having a good time. And uh, it was so funny. It's, it's something that is still stuck in my mind. We were, you know, kind of dancing and you went off to the side and just did these ridiculous, hilarious dances. And I was both incredibly jealous and incredibly entertained at the same time. And I, I still remember it like vividly to this day that we wasted school money and we danced on a boat and uh, you were just the life of the party. Hey Dave, you are in my thoughts. You're in my prayers. I am praying for you and for your family, for strength and comfort and a peace that surpasses all understanding. And yeah, I'm thinking of you. Hey Dave, it's Dana and Ellie here, just checking in to say hi and we're thinking about you and praying for you. Uh, my mom who lives in Pennsylvania, I've filled her in on what's going on and she's praying for you as well. So I hope you feel really loved and encouraged and know that we're all thinking about you. Yo Dave, uh, long time no see dude. Um, I just wanted to say I've been really inspired by your persistence in fighting cancer. I've been reading and following up with your updates and being heartbroken. I have been praying for you, your family, and for a miracle. I miss you a lot and I love you. Hope to see you soon. Hi Dave, saying hello and I uh, want to thank you for keeping us updated on your journey. Uh, it's really been an encouragement to me, probably more than you know. Uh, I appreciate you keeping, keeping us updated. We're thinking about you, praying for you, and we love you, man. Hey, Dave, just wanted to say you're in my thoughts and prayers, and I uh, love you so much, and I'm so grateful to have you in my life. Hey, Dave, dropping by to say I love you, I'm thinking about you, I'm praying for you and for your entire family. I know that you're going through a really hard time right now, and I think about you all the time. I'm so grateful to have you in my life. Counting you as one of my friends is one of my greatest blessings. You're one of the most amazing people I've ever met, and I really do cherish you and love you so, so much. Sending prayers and love to you and your entire family. Dave, I know that we can't all individually understand what you're going through or even come close to that, but I want you to know that as your friend, I love you and I'll always try to at least walk alongside you and offer support and good movies and TV wherever I can. Stay strong. Hi, Dave. Just wanted to say hi and to let you know that I'm thinking about you and that I'm praying for you and praying for healing as well as just praying that you're able to, to feel God's presence and his love um, during this time. Hey, Dave. I, I just wanted to send you and, and Nancy and Aaron and Cam all of the strength and love and, and mental hugs in the world. I, I miss you so much and I, I miss our wacky stories and singing nonsense together and I just wanted you to know uh, that we all love you so, so very much and, and to hang in there the best you can.
Dave, I've been praying for you from the moment I met you, so those prayers will continue. But now I'm also extending prayers of healing uh, as you navigate this space that you're in. Uh, I just am shining as much light as I can possibly to you from Germany. I love you, brother, and I look forward to talking to you again here soon. Hi, Dave. I just want you to know that as I started recording this video, the sun came out and it is quite warm. Um, feeling the heat, feeling the love, and sending it all your way. Um, I know that things are tough right now, but please know that you have friends all over the country who are thinking about you and praying for you and who love you so very much. Um, I truly admire you and I'm so grateful to have you in my life and to call you my friend. Hey Dave, this is Sherry from Wednesday Night House Church. Um, just wanted to let you know that we miss you and um, yeah, that we're praying for you. We're holding on tight to the hope in God's mercy and his power in your life to heal and um, to bring you back to us. And so, yeah, we hope you're well. Um, I've tried recording this like multiple times without crying and I can't do it. So I hope that even the crying <laughs> is encouraging. Hi, Dave. It's me and Nikolai. And of course, Laika. Can you give him a wave, girly? <laughs> But we just wanted to say that we miss you. We are praying for you and thinking of you from here in this beautiful little part of Iowa that we're in. And that we look forward to seeing you when we're back in Cambridge. Keep hanging in there, Dave. Keep your stick on the ice. We'll see you soon. Hey, Dave. I'm just uh, wanting to send you love and support and let you know that I'm thinking about you. Um, I really, really admire how strong and um, perseverant you've been through all of this um, and it's really incredible to see. I'm so proud of you and um, yeah, sending you a lot of love and encouragement. Hey brother, just want to send you a quick note and just let you know that uh, we love you. Um, we're praying for you um, and I'm just here for anything that you need. I'm so grateful and so blessed to call you a friend um, and to have worked with you this last couple months and know you these last couple of years. Um, the Lord is good, the Lord is sovereign, um, and he has you and cares for you, and so do I. Um, so anything you need, just let us know. We love you, bye-bye. Hey Dave, we love you so, so much. Um, you are constantly in our thoughts and prayers and your bravery, your openness, and your just full commitment to live life to the fullest, even in the most challenging of times, has really reminded us to um, live our lives to the fullest and, and with hope as well. We are so proud to call you our friend and we're sending so much strength and love to you right now and we're here for you the whole way. Love you. I hate so much that this happened to us, but the only good to come out of it was that I met you. And I know we have a lot of good work to do together and you don't deserve a damn ounce of this. And I hate what you're going through right now. I hate what we've been through. Um, but I want you to know that God never runs out of options and that not a minute goes by of the day where I'm not thinking of you and I'm not praying for you. And, um, you know, you know this, I'm here for you. And um, you're one of the best things that happened to me in the last year. And I cannot wait until we can do uh, some good work together. And um, I believe in you. It's crazy to think that just a year ago now you were DJing that Zoom virtual dance party. Uh, it was weird and crazy, but so great, right? You were able to just like really turn people out in what otherwise was a, a very strange and uncertain time. Thanks for bringing so much light into our lives always. I love you and miss you so much. I just want to say I really cherish our friendship and um, our conversations and you are one of the people who throughout uh, HKS and beyond have most continued to most inspire me. Big, big hug to you and lots of love. Dave, buddy, just want you to know that I'm thinking of you and praying for you and send all my best energy and wishes your way. I think about you a lot and I am sending you a lot of love and prayers. Hi, Dave, I want you to know that we're praying for you. Yeah, I just wanted to, to offer some, some words of support and who better to help us with that than uh, Smash Mouth, the immortal words of Smash Mouth, uh, all that glitters is gold. And you, sir, glitter pretty good. I found something from my little diary that I would like to read to you. It's by a nice nin, 
Each friend represents a world in us, a world possibly not born until they arrive. And it is only by this meeting that a new world is born. May we think of you in all the worlds that we're creating. Um, lots of love, a big hug. I will see you soon. Till then, ciao from your family's favorite HKS friend. I'll just leave you with one of my favorite poems. It's something that I turn to uh, that makes me remember that there is joy in the world um, somewhere on the other side of our darkest moments. So this is a Mary Oliver poem. Uh, you probably heard of it, but I love it. Um, so if you suddenly and unexpectedly feel joy, don't hesitate. Give in to it. There are plenty of lives and whole towns destroyed or about to be. We are not wise and not very often kind. And much can never be redeemed. Still, life has some possibility left. Perhaps this is its way of fighting back. That something, sometimes something happens better than all the riches or power in the world. It could be anything, but very likely you notice it in the instant when love begins. Anyway, that's often the case. Anyway, whatever it is, don't be afraid of its plenty. Joy is not made to be a crumb. I love you. You will get through this. You have a village of people holding your hand. Hey Dave, it's me. You know, this whole journey we've been waiting. We've been waiting for good news and it, at every turn, sometimes it feels, um, you know, like it's it's been not the news you want. Um, but I've been so impressed and um, humbled, honestly. Um, and in awe of you and your family's response throughout all this, um, just how courageous you've been and how brave you've been and how open you've been um, with, you know, letting people in and letting people see the messy and, you know, the uncomfortable and the pain and the sad um, and just the realness of life um, that life's kind of thrown at you right now. Um, it's been such a big, lesson and blessing to me um, over the past, you know, couple years as this has been going on. Um, and besides that, you're just one of my favorite people, absolutely. Um, you were definitely, you know, absolute godsend post-college in DC. Um, you know, our friendship has definitely morphed and changed over the years, but um, I've always been so grateful for your sense of humor and uh, just how freaking smart you are and how you just approach life and with such zest and gusto. Um, yeah, you really just like suck the marrow out of life. I know that's kind of a weird gross saying, but um, that's like what I'm reminded of with you. You really just like squeeze life for all it's worth and you really get the most out of it um, wherever you are. Um, whether that's like experiences or music or learning or um, relationships. Um, it's been honestly, truly amazing to watch you and Mark's friendship over the past few years also just develop and grow and how you guys are there for each other. And um, yeah, I think that's like super special and I'm really grateful for you. Um, yeah, I miss you, I love you and just know that we're always thinking about you, always talking about you, and um, I just wish we lived closer so we could see you every day. Love you, man. Dave, at the beginning of your cancer journey, we made you a video just like this one to let you know that you weren't alone as you prepared for your first surgery. And I know you got some really hard news this week, and I know that the unknowns right now feel even scarier than they did back then. And I just need you to know that you're not alone now, just like you weren't alone then. 
And this whole time we've been searching for an edge. And this has got to be that edge. And I don't know what comes next. And I know you don't know what comes next. But I want you to feel hope and I want you to feel loved while you're standing on the edge. So that's what this is. We love you. We're so grateful for you. You have saved my life and I'm so grateful. And if this can in some small way give you any of the hope that you've given us, I hope it does that. I love you.